Welcome back to it. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso live right here on SABC3. You've made the right choice this morning by choosing to wake up with us and thank you so much for being here with us. Such fun times we've had today, right? So good. Mm, so good. So good. Now we all know that investing in a timeless wardrobe is one thing, but don't forget what lies beneath is just as important. So a while back, Zoe managed to discuss the importance of uh, the right lingerie and shapewear in our wardrobes with Bronwyn Day. Skip washing liquid and Siemens washing machines understand just how precious your wardrobe is to you, which is why we're sharing this fashion case series called Investment Dressing and making sure your fashion favorites look like new for longer. And over the past few weeks, we've covered all the must-haves for an investment wardrobe, but none are as figure-enhancing as what we're about to discuss today. And here in studio to share her insights into the importance of lingerie is fashion stylist Bronwyn. Day. Bronwyn, I'm excited for this topic. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> because I believe in something like the right underwear can really set you up for the day. But how important from your perspective is wearing the right undergarments under your clothing? Well, lingerie really is an essential in every woman's wardrobe. It's important to separate them from your sort of basics that cover and support you every day. And then I also like to think of it as underwear that gives you that extra mood lift and pep for maybe a special occasion. So when choosing your underwear, it's important to remember a few important points. Um, and I think we need to unpack these points, especially if they're part of our investment, dressing the pieces that are considered our basics. We don't replace them that often. And when it comes to choosing the right underwear, um, starting off with various bras, what should we be looking out for? So firstly, it's really important to have your everyday basics. Your everyday basics are your cotton knickers and your bras, that your, your everyday go-tos that you grab. Without thinking about it, they provide support, they're comfortable, they're breathable, they're really good to wash and they last long in your wardrobe. So neutrals such as beige, a skin tone, something that matches your skin tone is really important. Um, as well as your black and, um, and white, so that you can wear those with anything, any day of the week. And I love that we have the basics in place, but sometimes you want to spice things up. You want to have something a little yes. bit more soft or delicate. Yes. What can we go for? So I love lace. Um, lots of us love to wear lace, and it's really important to invest in good lace. You don't want lace that's itchy or scratchy because you're not going to reach for it in a rush. You're going to always feel uncomfortable in it. And obviously the lace has to be soft and of good quality so that it can also wash well. You must always hand wash it so that it lasts longer. And also so that your undergarments feel sort of feminine and really good for you to feel confident in the day and obviously for that special occasion where you want to feel a bit sexier. Of course, listen, I think every girl has a set of power panties that they wear when they go to an important <laughs> meeting or a fun date. Absolutely. But when it comes to sports bras, that's something I have always made sure I spend a little extra because I yes. wear my sports bras often. Yes, so sports technology is so advanced these days. There's so many options available depending on the impact of the sport you're doing. So for example, if you're a runner or an athlete, it's really important to wear maximum support. The technology has been researched for years already and there's just no excuse for us, no matter which exercise. So even if you're doing a moderate intensity such as brisk walking or cardio or cycling, you still have to wear a medium support bra. And even if you have a small bust, it's still important to wear a light coverage because it really prevents the muscle tissue from sagging in the future. And it gives you the right support at the end of the day. Something that's quite new to me is the shape garments. And I know there are various types, so let's yes. talk through some of the different ones that we can know basically up our game. Yes, so shapewear is not a taboo subject anymore. No. Everybody wants to feel confident no matter what. And shapewear has been, again, researched so well, and most retailers have it. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg and basically it targets the, the area that you really just want to feel more secure in. So if you've got a beautiful dress that you want to look amazing in, but you feel maybe your thighs or your tummy area are your weak zones, shapewear just kind of enhances and 
sucks in and cinches those areas for you. So the three most important are your sort of shorts. They really target the derriere and the buttocks and the thighs so that you don't have that orange peel effect through the garment that you're wearing. It just gives your legs that extra security around around the derriere. So it's just sort of really nice and your dress or your garment will just flow over your hips and thighs really comfortably. The next is the sort of high-waisted shorts. This is for a weaker tummy area. So if you feel your tummy area is your sort of not so favorite part and you've got a killer dress that you've spent all your money on, it's important to have your undergarments just kind of protect and keep you feeling that much more confident just underneath. smooth it out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and the last one is the full garment. So it's like a full bodysuit. It's either the shorts or it's like a mini dress, but basically it's just ultimate and utter protection underneath so that, again, you're just feeling your absolute best where you go out and feel fabulous. Especially if you're wearing those figure-hugging dresses, it just yes. smooths everything Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Now, we've spoken about the basics to have in our wardrobe. Um, what are some of the no-nos when it comes to your lingerie? Yeah, so for me, an absolute no-no are uh, visible bra straps. They're just no excuses anymore. Um, ladies have so many options now with multi-way bras, and it's important that depending on the cut of your dress or your blouse or your t-shirt, that your bra straps don't hang out. They just, it's just an absolute no-no. My second worst is uh, the VPL, which stands for visible panty line. <laughs> and it I'm happens a that. lot, <laughs> it happens a lot, and especially in like professional environments, it's important that we make sure that, uh, you know, there's nothing really sticking out or lumping or bumping because there are these seam-free options now. Yeah. So they're smoother and softer underneath your garments and really do sort of, you don't even notice that you're wearing underwear. So that's, so that's a, a no-no is the VPL. Okay, the VPL. And I and heard VPL. something about a whale tail. What is yes. that? <laughs> I call it the whale tail. I think a lot of people do know about it, but it's basically women who wear G-strings. And it's basically, if it's, you're bending over and huh. the G-string sort of, shifts up above the waistline um, you get quite a strong visual and it's really awkward and basically it's really important to just look for garments that or underwear should I say that sort of complements the garment you're wearing so if you do have a low-rise jean you can't then wear a g-string because it's going to stick out if you lean over so it's important then to wear something a little bit more high-waisted or something with you know a seam free so that you don't have any whale tail. I'm giggling because the word underwear it says it needs to be under yeah but exactly. I know <laughs> fashion has its own <laughs> trends. Bronwyn yes. thank you for joining us today. A pleasure. For thank you for awesome having me. For this and enlightening chat and special items such as your lingerie and shapewear they require a delicate care routine to maintain the condition of their fabric. We head on over to the Siemens studio for some savvy wash care tips for maintaining our most delicate garments. I'm here with Nicole Driver from Siemens to find out about how to take care of your delicates on wash day. Nicole, great to see you again. It's great having you back. Hand washing our delicates on wash day can be extremely time consuming. What program setting would you recommend for our lingerie? At Siemens, we have a rich legacy of engineering and have investigated the best ways to wash our undergarments that are silky and lacy, as well as those body toning garments. We recommend using the Delicates program. This will ensure a gentle wash and care for these beautiful garments. And what detergent would you recommend for these delicate items? We recommend using the Skip Perfect Delicates. This will ensure that your fabrics are looked after and have the best result. Skip Delicates uses fiber care technology to help protect your clothes against deterioration, leaving them looking like new for longer. Dirt and stains are removed without damaging the fibers, so you can rock your delicate garments wash after wash. Don't forget to check the care label for more information on how best to care for your clothing.